Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, today we are going to start the second lecture. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss about the data representation. Now, in previous lecture, before starting this lecture, we will uh, go through the introduction about the previous lecture, lecture number one. So, in lecture number one, we discuss about the anatomy of computer and this is the picture from the previous lecture, previous slides here you can see uh, the detailed anatomy of a computer there are different parts uh, like central processing unit uh, there are different sections inside the central processing unit like control unit there is data path arithmetic and logic unit and registers and uh, there are buses and uh, different buses like control data and address buses these three buses connect different devices uh, provide connectivity between different devices and the microprocessor uh, these devices like input uh, devices output devices uh, and the memory to the central processing unit so we discuss about uh, the data bus that that data bus is bidirectional. This data bus carries information between microprocessor uh, and other units, and control bus uh, sends control signals or pulses from microprocessor to the other devices and other components of the system. And the address bus is used to select or address either memory our input and output devices during the lecture number one we also discussed different levels of the code our program code and we, dis we also discussed about compilers and assemblers now the code which we usually write in C or C++ or other higher level languages we need compiler. This compiler converts this code uh, inside uh, into the uh, assembly program or maybe directly to the machine language. So here you can see uh, we have the um, uh, high level code here and this high level code is compiled through compiler and then we get this machine level of the assembly code or this code this compiler directly convert this code into the um, binary language or machine language uh, there are uh, there are different components that we have uh, we have discussed we had discussed in previous lecture like we have programs in high level languages and we need compilers these compilers are the compiler directly converts the code or high level code or source code into machine language or from high level language to the assembly language and we need assembler this assembler uh, during this course we will discuss about this assembler and we will learn about the assembly language so for assembly language conversion to the machine language we need assembler to convert into the machine language um, this is short in th that was the short introduction about the previous lecture now we are going to start uh, lecture number two so this is the outline of lecture number two in this lecture we will discuss about the data representation and the main points or main topics that we will discuss during this lecture include decimal representation, binary representation, tools complement and hexadecimal representation. So in computer inside the computer the main term we consider is called a bit. So a bit uh, is the most basic unit of information in a computer so this bit can either represent uh, on off can it state either like on or off in a digital circuit for example 
digital circuits operate uh, on voltages for example voltage is low so this is a reference point or zero level so sometimes we consider like if this one is zero and then it goes up and then down and so on whatsoever so we represent sometimes this one and this one as a zero and so on and it depends on the circuit like uh, how, what type of voltage is like if it is minus 5 or 0 to 5, 0 and 5, 0 and minus 5 and so on. So we will not go in much detail but inside the digital circuit they operate on these voltages either digital uh, pulses. So these pulses can be represented in two states like 0 or 1 or low or high. So uh, instead of on off off sometimes we use low high and so on now these are different terms which we will use during this lecture so a bit uh, is the most basic in, uh, unit of information in a computer uh, and it can be uh, it we can say it's either zero or one on off low high and so on and the byte a byte is a group of 8 bits so a single byte consists of 8 bits and a byte is the smallest possible addressable unit of computer storage uh, inside computer we have memory main we, we refer it as a main memory uh, inside the main memory are inside the registers we store bytes our register store some information so we consider them as a byte uh, and these are the addressable means we can locate we can address them we can when we store a byte when we load or store a byte first we address we point out that which byte we want to uh, uh, load or store the second the third term is a word a word is a, a contiguous group of bytes so a word can be two bytes, three bytes, four bytes, whatsoever. So the word sizes can be 16 bits, 32 bits, or 64 bits. So these are the most common word sizes that are being considered uh, uh, nowadays, either in the architecture or in the programming language. So and usually a word represent a number or instruction uh, when we program in assembly language uh, we consider a word this word is either 16 bit 32 bit 64 bit so the instructions that we write in assembly language they are represented in form of words in uh, when we convert from assembly language to the machine language we will see how these uh, uh, instructions are being represented either in 16 bits, 32 bits, or 64 bit combinations. So, uh, there are three uh, main, uh, three b very basic concepts bit, byte, and word. So, numbering system to represent information, we uh, need uh, sometimes we need numbers, sometimes we need characters, sometimes we need other information, but the most basic way to represent data inside computer is the numbers. So before going to study these numbering system, uh, these how to represent data inside the computer, we will see what are these number systems. So the numbering system or number systems are characterized by their base number. Every number system has a specific base or a specified base. This is the most important uh, thing that we have to learn here. Uh, that what is their base? What is the importance of the base? What is the significance of the base? So each number system has different base. Uh, we will see in the next slides, uh, uh, next few slides, that what is the base and how this base uh, is being considered when we convert from one uh, number system to another number system. 
In general, or generally, a numbering system with a base R, for example, we have base R, so uh, we will have R different digits, uh, for example, uh, including zero uh, in its number set. Uh, if we can, we will see in the next slide uh, when we will see the uh, decimal number system and other number systems. So their the bases are different. So in each number system with base R, there are R different digits. These R different digits represent the set of digits that represent that uh, represent any number in that number system. And these number system include zero, and the maximum digit will be R minus one. So these digits range from zero to R minus one. The most widely used numbering systems are listed below. This include like decimal, binary, hexadecimal, and octal. Now this decimal number system is the most common number system which we use uh, in daily life. For example, if we calculate something, addition, subtraction, or some other systems, uh, maintenance the record, our daily sales report and also whatsoever we call it uh, we use decimal number system uh, binary number system uh, when we are, are talking about the digital circuitry or digital information binary number system is being used in the in digital circuits and the third most widely used uh, number system is the hexadecimal number system now uh, there is also the fourth one is octal, but uh, we will focus on these three: uh, decimal, binary, uh, and hexadecimal. So now, in next slides, uh, next few slides, we will see that what are these number numbering systems and what are their bases, how to convert from one number system to another number system, and so on, and how to perform some basic operations like addition, subtraction, etc. Now, uh, here you can see that each number system uh, with base B or whatsoever you can call it has B unique. This is the most important. B unique values per digit. B unique values per digit. Now, as we, uh, we, we, have, uh, as we have discussed in the previous slide, a uh, number with base R uh, has digits from 0 to the uh, 0 to R minus 1. Now here in decimal number system, first uh, the most basic number system is decimal number system, it has the base 2. Now the DC um, is uh, the word DC represents 10. So it has base 10, so its values, uh, its uh, the, in this number system, the value, uh, the number of digits start from 0 to 10 minus 1. So we have this whole range uh, set of these digits, set of these digits that we will use to represent decimal number system. Uh, the next one is the binary number system. In binary number system, by means to uh, this by, the word actually uh, here we can see this one this by means 2 deci means 10 and we have third one is hex or hexa or hex uh, this is 16 so in binary number system it has base, base 2 so it starts the subset or uh, sorry the set of these digits uh, has only two numbers or uh, two digits uh, is the 0 and 1 the third is hexadecimal number system uh, hexadecimal number system has base 16 so it has uh, 16 uh, unique um, values uh, 16 unique values per digit so these 16 unique values start from 0 up to 9 there are 10 digits here then for 10 we have A, B, C, D, E, and F to represent 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So from 0 to F, we have total 15, uh, total 16 uh, digits, unique digit 
to represent any number in hexadecimal number system so in numbering system we have basis for decimal has base 10 uh, binary has base 2 hexadecimal number system has base 16 and their digits uh, unique digits range from 0 to 9 in uh, decimal number system and binary from 0 and 1 hexadecimal uh, 0 to a or 0 to f now in this slide we will learn uh, we will discuss about the decimal number system with base 10 so this is the most commonly used number system uh, in the inside uh, in the world uh, we use this number system in our daily life so its digits are unique digits are from 0 to 9 all of them they are 10 so the example is like uh, mostly we write for example 3 2 1 and 7 are 3217 this is the number which is in decimal format or uh, another representation for this number is like when we write uh, 3 multiplied by 10 uh, 10 raised power 3 so it is like 3 multiplied by 1000 plus 2 multiplied by 100 1 multiplied by 10 and 7 multiplied by 1 if we sum this one like 7 in 1's 1 in 10's 2's of 100's 3's three times of thousand so we have three thousand two hundred and seventeen so a shorthand notation is like this one seven ten is power zero ten is power one two and three and uh, so on so it depends on the number system that we uh, uh, we are going to consider so here uh, for example if we want to add these binary numbers uh, so decimal numbers for example the number is uh, 13 and we want 8 with 25 this is the most basic one what I want to show here that if we add any number system uh, for example here is 5 and 3 so we have a complete circle we have mostly uh, we have range of digits from 0 to 9 and for example consider this is uh, 8 or 18 and 25 so if we add these two numbers 8 and 5 this is uh, 13 so we exceed from uh, this whole system like from 0 to 9 so what we write this total is 13 so we take this one this digit write 3 here and we have 1 as a carry so we use this one as a carry and now the value is this one and one two and two four so the total sum is um, 43 uh, similarly we have subtraction system and so on this is the easiest example um, uh, we we use in our daily life our uh, easiest number system uh, we will move uh, subtraction is relatively uh, similar and easier uh, one so we don't consider the subtraction right now now we'll move to the another number system is called the binary number system now this binary number system as we discussed that it has base 2 and there are only two digits 0 and 1 the 0 1 as we uh, in previous slide either can be considered on high uh, 1 is considered either on high or true and 0 is considered either off low or false and so on now in binary number system when we uh, when we saw the term bit this bit is the combin uh, is the acronym of binary uh, digit binary digit so we call it uh, bit so this bit can either be 0 or it can either be 1 so example of this binary number system is for example like 11010 one, one, zero, one, zero. Uh, this um, in subscript form there is two sometimes it is written like this one 11010 zero, one, zero. and here we write b or something to show that this number is binary number so this 11 one, one, 
zero one zero in binary number system to convert this binary we can represent like one multiply by two power four one multiply by two power three and so on we will see how to convert these numbers in more detail so this is the representation like uh, zero multiply by two power zero is zero one multiply by two power one is two zero multiply by two power two is um, is, z is zero and two power three multiply by one is eight two power four multiply by one is sixteen so the one one zero one zero is equal to 26 in decimal this number system is the choice for machine implementation because uh, uh, as we uh, have seen in the previous slides that machines uh, either operate on uh, on two states either low or high either on or off the voltages so this is the main choice for the machine implementation machines use these systems or these states to represent uh, information inside their circuitry so in these uh, number system uh, in the binary number system so each bit represents a power of 2 each bit represents a power of 2 and every binary number is a sum of powers of 2 here you can see uh, we have any number system so this is the starting digit uh, binary digit then second third and fourth and so on so for example one two three four five six seven and eight bits so we have eight binary digits we have eight uh, binary digits we have eight binary digits and these eight binary digits we have these values uh, for example 2 power 0 is uh, decimal equivalent is 1 and so on this is the complete list 2 power 15 is uh, 32768 but here we are considering only 8 bits so we have uh, 1 2 3 4 and 8 so the maximum power is 2 power uh, 2 power 7 uh, the other concept the significance of digits or significance of these bits the l until and unless it is mentioned in any binary number system that which digit or which bit has the least significance or least uh, which bit is the least significant bit and which bit is the most significant bit we will see in more detail but here I want to give you a concept that 2 power 0 this uh, bit has least significance so we write LSB or least significant bit and here is the uh, most significant bit so LSB least significant bit and MSB is the most uh, most significant uh, bit so this bit has the more significance compared to the uh, rightmost bit sometimes uh, don't be confused uh, sometimes representation start from here like uh, one bit two three four it's not quite often but don't be confused when uh, numbers are represented like sometimes this can be least LSB and this can be for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this one 8 so this can be the uh, most significant bit MSB so least and most significant bits you can understand from here and we will discuss in more detail in the next few slides so converting binary number to decimal number here uh, the weighted there is one notation which is most common notation we use uh, we will use here is called the weighted positional notation uh, it shows how to calculate decimal value of each uh, binary digit or a bit so we have a binary number for example uh, one zero one zero one zero zero so this is the uh, 
least significant this is the most significant how we can do we have one two three four five six seven and eight dig eight uh, binary digits so how we can convert them so we can convert them like this one uh, one multiply by two power seven plus zero multiply by two power six plus uh, 1 multiplied by 2 power 5 plus 0 multiplied by 2 power 4 plus uh, 1 multiply sorry 1 multiplied by uh, 2 power 3 and so on so these are 0 multiplied by 2 power 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 power 1 and plus 1 multiplied by 2 power uh, zero. So if we see this whole one, whole expression, so con to convert any number system to the decimal number system, uh, this is the most common way we use that each uh, digit of that number system multiply with their base and their power starts from here from zero up to the total number of digits, uh, one less than the total number of digits. So in this case, in this case, uh, the answer will be 1 multiplied by 2 power 7 is 128. Here will be, uh, this one will be 0, and this one will be uh, 32, this one will be 0, uh, this will be 8, and these two will be 0, and this will be 1. So total is 169. Either you can write 169 or you can write 169 with base 10 to represent decimal number, or you can write like this one one six nine and uh, with, with the base uh, d r decimal so this is the uh, most common way to convert a binary number system or binary uh, number into the decimal number in this slide um, we will discuss about how to convert decimal number system to binary number system uh, the unsigned in previous slide we converted the number that was unsigned there was no sign used uh, right now we will we are not using any sign uh, but when we use any sign we have to take a very special consideration or um, uh, when we deal with the sign number system so here uh, in this slide uh, there is uh, we will learn about how to convert any decimal numbers number into the binary number so in this slide we have number like 37 so if you want to convert any numbers uh, any decimal number to any number system like for example here in this case we have binary so what we do we divide with the base we divide with the base of that number system in which we want to convert this uh, decimal number like the number we have like 37 we want to divide uh, with the base 2 because we want to convert from decimal to binary so 37 divided by 2 the quotient uh, is the quotient is here you can see divided by 2 the quotient is 18 and we have 1 here divided by 2 we have remainder 0 and this here is 9 divided by 2 we have 1 here and quotient is 4 divided by 2 we have 0 here uh, and uh, quotient is 2 and we divided by 2 here we have 1 and remainder is 0 now what we do if we want to uh, this complete process has been finished now we start writing from here in this direction to represent a binary number for example the binary equivalent of 37 decimal number is one zero zero one zero and one so this is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 37 Similarly, if you have any number like uh, in thousands or hundreds or whatsoever in decimal, you just divide by 2 and 
continue the process and keep the remainder and when you finish when you come to the end when you have either uh, uh, at the end you will get remainder one so start from there right up to the first remainder so we have to keep track of all the remainders so this one is the least significant bit here is the most significant bit and uh, we stop when the quotient uh, is uh, zero or we can call it when we have n and when in the end we get the loss we cannot divide anymore so 37 its equivalent is 100101 and and the binary so in this slide we will learn uh, another method to convert any decimal number into the binary so this is the most common we are most uh, convenient method to convert any binary number uh, decimal number into the binary number system so what we will do the first step is start with a binary representation of all zeros so for example if we have boxes like eight boxes I if I have any number which cannot exceed these eight bits so we have one two three four five six seven and eight okay so let's start with the binary representation of all zeros so we consider that all these are zeros here for example so for example zero 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 and so on so determine the highest possible power in previous example we got the value uh, 37 so highest possible power of 2 that is less or equal to the number for example 2 raised power 5 is 32 and 2 raised power 6 is equal to 64 so 2 raised power 5 uh, is the highest possible power of 2 that is uh, that represent the number which is less than or equal to 37 so we neglect this one we don't use this one so put a 1 a 1 in the bit position corresponding to the highest power of 2 found above for example the power of 2 this digit has power of 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this one is the highest power from uh, starting from 0 to 7 so here at the 5 when uh, where the uh, the power of 2 represents the maximum value uh, not maximum value the value that is either equal or less than uh, the uh, 37 so we remove this one and write one here so we have one here now here you can see the third step uh, fourth step is subtract the highest power of 2 found above from the number so subtract 32 from 37 and we have got the value 5 when we subtract 32 from 37 so we have found the value 5 this one here so we will repeat all these steps uh, from step number 2 to step number uh, 2 3 and 4 all these steps again and again for the remaining number or remaining uh, number and we will finish until and unless we have the uh, the value of power uh, 0 okay so now here you can see uh, we will finish until uh, we can represent completely our e uh, power of 2 that is equivalent to that number so here we have 5 so the power of 2 is 2 uh, that is equal to 4 that is the highest possible power that is either equivalent or less than this value 5 so at the place of this power 2 we will write 1 
So we will write 1 here and then now we will subtract 4 out of 5 so we have 1 and the power that represents 1 power of 0 that represents uh, this value is 0 so that is the exact representation uh, of the remaining value so at the power of 0 what we will do we will write 1 at this point so this is the representation of 37 decimal number into the binary number system our binary number is like uh, 000, uh, 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 and 1 as uh, 1 2 4 8 16 30 32 and 4 uh, is 36 and 1 is 37 so this is the value in the uh, decim uh, binary number now uh, in this slide we will see uh, another example to convert uh, a binary uh, decimal number into the binary number system so here we have the value 76 that we want to uh, uh, decimal number uh, we want to convert this 76 decimal number into the binary numbers so we have all these boxes for example uh, we will write the powers 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the highest power of 2 uh, that is less than or equal that will produce the value less than or equal to 76 that is 64 so it is 2 raised to 6 and the seventh bit uh, seventh most significant bit uh, it will be 1 so we write 1 here and now subtract 64 from 76 we get 12 so this is the new number uh, for which we have to find the power of 2 that is that will produce the value less than or equal to this number so the highest power of 2 that is less than or uh, that will produce the less than or equal number to 12 is uh, 3 so 2 raised to 3 is 8 so what we will do for this one uh, for this power we write 1 here at this point and now we subtract 8 from 12 so we have 4 so this is a new digit a new num new digit that we have to uh, for which we have to find the power of 2 that will produce a number which is less than or equal to 4 so 2 power 2 so it's equivalent to exactly equal to 4 so the third bit here will be equal uh, uh, represented with the with 1 and the so subtracting 4 from 4 will result in a 0 so this is the final representation uh, of decimal number 76 into binary so this is the most uh, convenient method if we will practice if you will practice again and again you will find this, uh, this method more convenient compared to the uh, dividing with the base and uh, counting or uh, keeping account of the remainders in this slide we will see uh, how decimal fractions are being converted to the binary this example uh, is very in this example we consider a very basic a uh, very easy uh, number which will be converted into few steps into the binary otherwise uh, there is a there are uh, there are very complex methods or uh, very detailed method to convert uh, decimal fractions or floating point numbers into the binary so here we consider a decimal uh, its value is 0 0.8125 uh, to the binary so what we do we just multiply so this is called the multiplication method so we multiply with the base uh, that base is our radix is 2 so the radix is 2 so what we'll do we'll multiply and we have this one the value so the first product carries into the 
unit place so we in the unit place we have one and now what we will do we, we will not consider this one we we'll just keep this the track of these unit places uh, and then next we will continue this process so we will multiply two with this one and we again got the unit place here so this unit place again we got unit place so we ignore the value in the unit places we will not multiply two with these unit places we will leave as it is so uh, in each step we ignore this one and continue multiplication each fractional part by this uh, uh, radix or the base so again when we multiply this two with uh, zero means 0.25 then we got 0.5 and we don't have any uh, value except this zero in this uh, uh, unit places so in the fourth step when we multiply 2 with this 0.5 we got 1 in the unit places so we will start from here and continue in this direction and 0 0.1 0 0.8125 in decimal is equal to 0 0.1101 into the binaries uh, this is the very uh, basic but actually in computers we don't represent uh, the uh, decimal fractions uh, in this way but this is the easiest way to convert uh, to represent this one into the binary uh, format uh, decimal fractions into the binary format uh, in this slide we will discuss uh, about the hexadecimal number system hexadecimal number system has base 16 and it consists uh, 16 digits unique digits uh, starting from 0 and the uh, final digit is F that represents the value 15 so the this there are different or multiple representation of this number system sometimes we write like 1a and we use the base and the base is 16 or sometimes we use h or hex or hexadecimal or the third notation is the most common notation is called 0x1a mostly uh, inside the computers uh, the addresses and others uh, other data is represented in this format like 0x and the values now here you can see the value 10 and in hexadecimal and this when value 10 in decimal these two values are not equal to each other because 10 in decimal is different from 10 in hexadecimal so the maximum value of uh, maximum uh, value uh, maximum digit is 15 or F so this to represent this hexadecimal number into the binary we need four digits to completely represent a hexadecimal number or a digit into the binary like for example 00, zero then all these four zeros are zero one then all these three uh, digits binary bits are zero and this least significant bit is one and so on for 10 uh, or a in hexadecimal we have one zero and one zero so one two four and eight so eight and two is our ten so and the last one is f and this f is represented like all these ones if you convert this one whole uh, binary into dec uh, decimal you will get 15 so we need four binary digits or four bits to represent one hexadecimal uh, digit So we have seen uh, multiple number systems like uh, binary, decimal, and hexadecimal number systems. So inside the computer, uh, the actually um, actual machine code is actually written in, uh, is in binary, uh, and we have seen that binaries are either zeros and ones, and hexadecimal is often used by humans, code simulators. Actually, sixteen. Uh, the hexadecimal number system 
and the binary number system are the most common number systems which are being used inside the computer, either computer programs, simulators, and so on. So uh, these two are being most widely used because they have the common power, like 16 is a power of 2, while 10 is not. So mapping between hexadecimal and binary is relatively quite easy uh, compared to the decimal. So uh, it's we use these two number system to represent our uh, to program or to uh, represent any data inside the computer. Uh, it's more com uh, we as a human we use hexadecimal number system because it is more compact than binary. For example, we can write uh, 0x 9 0 0 0 0 0 and 8 in programs rather than all these uh, different ones and zeros. So uh, the point in this slide is that uh, hexadecimal and binary are the most common uh, uh, number systems which are being used in computers, uh, which are being considered inside the computer. Uh, however, for humans, we always consider hexadecimal number numbers uh, rather than the decimal number because it's quite uh, difficult to uh, uh, write and understand compared to the hexadecimal because they are more compact. Uh, in this slide, we will learn how to convert binary to hexadecimal number system. Now each hexadecimal digit corresponds to four binary bits or binary digits. Uh, for example, uh, we have this uh, means a uh, huge uh, list of zeros and ones. So what we do, we will convert them into the uh, combination of four binary digits or four digits, bits. Here you can see we have a binary integer. So this binary integer 0, 1, 0, 0 uh, is equal to 4 this one equivalent to the uh, 9, this one equivalent to the 7, this one, uh, this 4 uh, bit string is equal to 10, so 10 is represented as E, and then we have 0, 1, 1, 0 is equal to 6, and then 1. So this one whole string is equivalent to 1, 6, E, seven nine four or you can write a zero x this one or one six a seven nine four and hexadecimal so sometimes we have binary numbers like we have seven bits uh, one 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 all four ones and then zero and one one so what we do we start from here convert these rightmost four bits uh, into the hexadecimal then leftmost uh, we have only three bits, so we can convert them into the hexadecimal. We consider that there's only zero, so no problem. So you can convert them in this manner. Uh, relatively quite easy. Uh, now, converting from hexadecimal to binary is the reverse method. So each hexadecimal digit is replaced with the four binary digit. Uh, in this case, for example, here you can find out uh, we have hexadecimal number F, 0, A, uh, 8, A, B, and 5. So F is 15. So these four binary digits, like 1, 1, 1, 1. Then we have 0. These four bits are zeros. Then we have 8. So is 1, 0, 0, 0. We have A. So it's 1, 0, 1, 0. And we have B is 1, 0, 1, 1. And we have 5 is 0, 1, 0, and so on. So the binary of this f 0 8 a b 5 is equivalent to all these uh, bit string it's relatively easy to convert between hexadecimal to binary and binary to hexadecimal so uh, the method which we'll use to convert hexadecimal to decimal uh, it will uh, consider the same format which we used uh, in conversion between the uh, conversion from uh, binary to decimal. 
so if we want to convert hexadecimal uh, number to decimal what we will do we will multiply each digit by its corresponding power of 16 here you can see we have hexadecimal uh, number uh, is 1 2 3 4 so what we will do we will write here 1 multiplied by 16 plus 2 multiplied by 16 3 multiplied by 16 4 multiplied by 16 so power start from here so power 0 1 1 2 and 3 so 4 multiplied by 16 power 0 uh, 3 multiplied by 16 power 1 4 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 16 and 2 multiplied by 16 power 2 and so on so the decimal equivalent is 4660 and similarly we have hexadecimal 3b a4 what we will do we will convert it in the same manner okay in this slide uh, we will convert decimal to hexadecimal now the rule to convert decimal to hexadecimal or from decimal to any other number system is to divide the decimal number with the base of the number system in which we are converting uh, this number so for example now we are going to convert a decimal to hexadecimal and we know that the hexadecimal has the base 16 so for example here we have number 422 and we want to convert this 422 decimal number into hexadecimal so what we have to do we have to repeatedly divide the decimal integer by 16 and each remainder is a hex digit in the translated uh, hexadecimal number so for example 422 divided by 16 the quotient is 26 and the remainder is 16 or uh, sorry the 6 now uh, what we will do we will again divide this quotient with the same uh, base uh, 16 the again we will re receive uh, we will have the quotient 1 and the remainder is a our remainder is 10 so we can convert 10 into hexadecimal and we will get a so in the next step we will take this quotient and divide by 16 so uh, quotient again the new quotient will be 0 and uh, the remainder is 1 so here this one is the least significant digit of hexadecimal number and this is the most significant digit and we will stop this is the rule to convert any decimal into any number system when we have quotient 0 uh, then we have to stop this process now you can see here the decimal number 422 is 1A66 in hexadecimal so we can represent like 1A6 by 16 or another representation is 0, uh, x, 1A and 6. So in this slide we will see the storage sizes. In computer all these numbers are being stored. Uh, like we have the standard size of byte this byte is 8 bit then we have word size word is usually 16 bit and there are other sizes for the word and the notations are different like we have double word and we have quad word for double word size is 32 bits and quad word is 64 bit and these are the ranges uh, for the unsigned integers uh, all these we are discussing about the unsigned and in the next slides uh, in few next slides we will discuss what about the signed ranges and uh, all the stuff so unsigned byte ranges from 0 to 255 or you can say from 0 to 2 raised to 8 uh, minus 1 and unsigned word unsigned double word and quad word they have uh, ranges they have range from 0 to 2 power 16 minus 1 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 and 0 to 2 power 64 minus 1 respectively uh, for example if somebody asks you what is the size uh, largest integer uh, for the 20 bit storage so the ru rule of thumb is it will start from 0 uh, 0 to 2 raised power 20 
2 raised power 20 and minus 1 this is the range uh, that we can store range of numbers we can store in a 20 bit uh, memory location or memory size and now we will start some basic operations like binary addition and other stuff uh, this one is for the unsigned one as I told you we will discuss about the signed integers or signed binary and signed hexadecimal in next slides uh, here you can see uh, the rule to perform addition is to start with the least sig significant bit like the this one this is the least significant bit and here is the most significant bit so uh, what we will do here uh, we will start from here so first number is 4 second number is 7 now we want to add these two number so what we will do we will add each pair uh, a pair of these uh, binary digits and what and the next step is in case if there is carry then we will add the carry in the next uh, pair here 0 and 1 when we will add 0 and 1 it will be 1 uh, we will add this pair 0 1 again it will be 1 1 1 so 1 1 is equivalent to 2 so 2 is represented like 1 0 the representation of 2 in binary is 1 0 uh, so we will put 0 here and this 1 will be as a carry so we will carry with this pair so it will be 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal 1 and rest of these all pairs are 0 0 so the final value uh, we, we got here is 1 1 0 1 and so on so it will be binary 11 so this is the simplest rule uh, to add two binary numbers uh, at the same time hexadecimal uh, addition in hexadecimal addition what we have to do we have to start adding these digits for example this is one hexadecimal number and then we have another hexadecimal number here so we want to add these two number so how we can perform this addition uh, first we will add first we will add uh, these two uh, hexadecimal digits then we will see what is the result uh, if the sum of these two digits, for example, here is a, a is 10, value in decimal is 10, b hexadecimal digits uh, has the value uh, 12, so uh, sorry, 11, so 10 plus 11 is uh, 22, so this is in uh, decimal. So if uh, the sum of these two hex digits, uh, hexadecimal digits, is greater than 15, then what we will do, we will divide the sum by hex base and that base is 16 and the quotient become the carry value the quotient the quotient what we, we whatsoever we will get become the carry value and remainder is the sum of the uh, remainder is the sum digit so here for example 21 divided by 16 uh, quotient is 1 remainder is 5 so we will put 5 here and 1 is uh, used as a carry 6 plus 4 is equal to 10, 10 plus 1 is equal to 11, 11 in hexadecimal is B, 8 and 8 16, 16 is equivalent to 1, 0, so we will use uh, in hexadecimal it will be 1, 0, uh, because if we will divide 16 by uh, 16 we will get um, uh, the quotient will be 0 and the remainder will be uh, 1, so 1 will become carry and 0 will be here in the sum digit. Uh, 5 and 2, 5 plus 2, 7 and 1, 8, and the rest is has been uh, added. So the addition of these two hexadecimal digit, the sum will be 7, 8, 6, D, 8, 0, and B, 5. Uh, the important note about this a uh, hexadecimal addition, where we can use this hexadecimal addition is, uh, because sometimes we deal with the memory addresses. Uh, so what we have to do, we have to add and subtract these memory addresses because these addresses are in form of hexadecimal numbers so if there is some variable in um, which is stored at some address like 0x uh, 0x a b 1 3 and so on so what we will do we will get this address sometimes we add we subtract some numbers uh, from this address so we will use uh, this type of addition and uh, addition uh, in the in that cases now whatsoever we discussed in previous slides uh, we were discussing about the unsigned numbers 
like for example if we have number for 8-bit eight, eight number we were using all these 8 bits from least significant to most significant bit LSB to MSB all these uh, 8 bits we were using to store a complete number for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 all these bits we were using to store a complete unsigned number that ranges from 0 to 2 power 8 minus 1 now here we will discuss how to use uh, how to uh, use the unsigned assigned numbers now in sign numbers there are different ways to represent those sign numbers the first one is the uh, sign magnitude uh, second one is the ones complement and third one is the twos complement now there are three ways but the most common uh, way to use sign numbers is twos complement so we will focus on this twos complement uh, in case of 8-bit word, sign magnitude, magnitude representation places the absolute value of the number in the 7 bits to the right side of the sign uh, bit. For example, uh, we have 8 bits. Here, this bit will work as a sign bit and all these 7 bits, uh, we will use the absolute value. For example, the value is uh, 4. So we will use one zero zero uh, and all these zeros. And if this value is minus four, then we will use this bit as a one to show as uh, represent as a minus uh, value. Uh, we will not change this value at all. All this magnitude will remain same. If it is four, we will write four. If it is um, minus five, minus twenty, whatsoever, we will use twenty. We will represent twenty here, and only we will change this sign. Uh, bit uh, here you can see uh, the highest uh, bit here this bit indicates the sign and the rest indicates the value so this is the absolute value and this shows a negative value this one shows a positive value in case uh, if the highest digit of the hexadecimal is greater than 7 the value is negative for example 8a and c5 because 8a will be represented at like one zero 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 and a is like eight so this one so for example if this bit is one or if this value of all these four digits is greater than seven then we can say this value is negative one and hexadecimal and binary it's obvious that if the left most bit or most significant bit is uh, one then it will show uh, that uh, this is the uh, that is the negative number here uh, the signed uh, 8 bit sign magnitude for example plus 3 this sign bit for plus 3 will uh, remain as it is and this magnitude value uh, shows 3 uh, for sign uh, sign number uh, sign positive number this leftmost will be 0 and here in the in the signed magnitude 8 bit if we want to represent negative number or minus 3 only what we will change we will change this uh, sign bit to 1 to show that this is the negative number so these computers perform automatic operations on the sign magnitude numbers in the same manner uh, as we uh, perform with our pencil and paper like we ignore the sign value and we just add these two numbers we will see the ex uh, example in the next slide so, so binary addition uh, is the easy uh, easiest uh, operation uh, we can get uh, we can perform what we need to do we need to uh, know these rules like if we perform like uh, 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is equal 1 1 plus 0 is equal 1 and 1 plus 1 is equal 1 0 uh, so this is the rule of thumb that we will use um, uh, in this uh, in this lecture so these addition rules for example if we perform signed addition what we will do here here you can see there are two numbers uh, we are using sign magnitude we are not using only one's complement or two's complement we are using only sign magnitude so what we will do we will use uh, sign magnitude binary arithmetic and we will find the sum of two numbers first number is uh, 75 and the number is 46 so 
uh, value 75 this bit is uh, it shows plus or positive number here this value shows 75 and here this value in decimal shows uh, 46 now what we'll do uh, we have already converted these two numbers now we will perform addition now if we will add these two numbers like one zero is equal to one then what we'll do one one is equal to one zero so zero will be here uh, uh, as a uh, sum and one will be as a carry so one one again is equal to uh, uh, zero one so zero will be here so we are performing this one and at this point if you see that we are adding one 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 so these three ones equal into three so this will be equal into one one so this one will come here and the another one will come here as a uh, carry uh, and the next one will perform rest and this is the result so once we have worked out our way through all these digits that will be the result now you can see here uh, we took two values like 75 and 46 now we chose this these two values very carefully because uh, some will fit in these seven bits uh, if that is not the case then we have a problem we will discuss what is the problem so using the sign magnitude binary arithmetic we will find the value for example uh, for two decimal numbers you go 107 107 and 46 now here you can see we have the value uh, for 107 in decimal we have converted into the binary and we have here the value 46 now what will happen uh, if we add these two numbers again at this point when we will add the last seventh digit because this digit is reserved for the sign if we add this one so zero will be here and one will be uh, as a carry now what we have to do if this carry uh, is there then we will see uh, at the seventh bit so it will show uh, it will be considered as an overflow and this carry is disc discarded and it gives us the erroneous or the wrong answer because 107 plus 46 uh, th this one uh, this one shows 25 actually it should not be 25 because uh, we have the overflow situation here so uh, overflow situation will be detected that uh, this uh, sign bit is going to be changed so this situation will be considered as an overflow so we will see what are the overflows and how we can detect these overflows so sign magnitude representation is easy for people to understand but it requires complicated computer hardware uh, to eat and do other operations so the other disadvantage for the sign magnitude is that it allows two different representations of zero positive zero and negative zero for example if we have zero for example all these seven bits uh, will represent zero zero uh, and then this sign bit will be also zero for negative zero this will remain same so only the sign bit will change so these are the reasons there are other reasons also the computer system employ complement system like one's complement and two's complement even though we're using the two's complement now uh, in the circuits and the computer uh, hardware but the these are called the complement systems and we will discuss uh, how these complement systems are being used and how we can represent numbers into complement system so the complement system uh, inside this complement system uh, the negative values are represented by some difference between a number and its base uh, the in diminished radius complement system a negative value is given by the difference between the absolute value of a number and one less than its base uh, in binary system this gives us one's complement uh, it amounts to little more than flipping the bits of binary number so we will see uh, how this diminished radius complement systems like the ones complement we can represent numbers for example uh, we have 8 bit ones complement uh, the value is plus 3 here plus 3 will remain same as it is only this sign bit will be 0 otherwise this will be uh, the rest of the magnitude will be 1 1 in minus 3 what we have to do we have to complement whole number we have to complement whole number here you can see what we did 
uh, all these zeros uh, became one and this one one became zero so in one's complement as a sign magnitude negative values are indicated by a one and the higher order bit to show that this is the negative number and complement systems are useful because they eliminate the need for a special circuitry for subtraction the difference of two values is found by adding the uh, minute uh, to the complement of the uh, subtrahend here you can see the ones complement addition uh, in ones complement addition the carry bit is carried around and added to the sum for example here we have um, 48 and minus 1 so this is plus 48 so we have converted plus 48 into the uh, binary and minus 19 is converted into the um, ones complement and so how we can how we converted this uh, minus 19 this is the value for 19 we have uh, complemented uh, converted into the uh, ones complement we reverse all those zeros and ones uh, to the ones and zeros and so on so here you can see one is converted to uh, zero complemented one is kind of complemented zero these two zeros are complemented to ones this one is complemented to zero and so on so we put this value here uh, for minus 19 and we perform addition when we perform addition we add in the same manner like 0 0 is equal to 0 and so on in the end when we got this one so uh, as a carry this one as a carry so we take this one and put it here uh, in the uh, result so again we will add this one and this is the final result that we got here uh, the result uh, that we got here is uh, 1 2 4 8 16 16 plus 4 is 20 uh, is uh, 20 uh, 29 is the result so the result is 29 uh, when we subtract 19 from uh, 48 or we can say uh, we add uh, minus 19 with 48 although the end carry around Add some complexity. One's complement is simpler to implement than sign magnitude. As we saw, as we saw in the previous example, uh, that we need some additional circuitry when we add. Then again, we have to take this carry and again perform a, uh, another addition operation uh, in the result. Whatsoever the result we get uh, after this operation, is still. Uh, it is still has the disadvantage of having two different representations for zeros for example if we want to uh, represent zero then what we will do will represent zero like this one in positive all these uh, eight digits this digit is for uh, the sign so we can use zero so these four and three seven digit and for minus zero for minus zero what we have to do uh, it will be uh, all these ones they will represent the uh, minus zero so there are two representation for zero so to avoid this situation or this type of ambiguity what we have to do we have another system complement system that's called the twos complement and this twos complement solve this problem there's only one way to represent my uh, zero so twos complement is the radix complement of the binary numbering system we will see here to represent any value, any binary, uh, binary or uh, decimal value into binary or any negative value in two's complement, what we have to do? So if the number is positive, just convert it to the binary and that's all. We don't uh, make any modification with the signed bit. But in case if the number is negative, then what we have to do, we have to find one's complement of the number and then add one. For example, eight bit. Uh, one's complement of three is uh, uh, is positive three zero 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 and one one. So we negative three in one's complement is this one. We uh, convert uh, complement all these ones to zeros and zeros to ones and so on. For the rest of this whole, this will be one's complement for negative three. And if we want to perform two's complement, what we do, we will add one. So if we add one again, so this will be the result. 
and it will give us the value for minus 3 in 2's complement. So this is another example. Here you can see we have uh, a starting value for example uh, 36 plus 36. If we want to convert this plus 36 into the um, uh, binary number we will use this same notation in the in the top it is here so if we want to convert or uh, if we want to write minus 36 in binary and two's complement to represent minus 36 in two's complement what we will do we will perform one's complement reverse all those bits then in the next step we will add one so this will become minus uh, 36 so sum of an integer and is two's complement must be zero. If, for example, if we add this one and this one, it will result in a zero. You can see here, if we add this one, this one, and all these zeros, and again, we will get the carry, but we will ignore this carry, and the result will be uh, zero. Here you can see this is example. So this one is the easiest way to obtain two's complement of a binary number. There is another easiest way to convert any number into two's complement, and the way is uh, to obtain two's complement for uh, of any binary number is by starting at the least sig significant bit. For example, if we start with this one, uh, we have number here, uh, this number. So starting with the least significant bit, until unless we are g we do not encounter one, we leave all zeros as it is. So leaving all the zeros unchanged look for the first occurrence of a 1 so here is the first occurrence of 1 so leave this one unchanged and complement all the bits after it for example 0 we encountered 0 0 we don't change anything if we encounter 1 so we will leave this one as it is and rest of the this rest of these bits they will be complemented so you can see compare these two this is the most easiest way to convert uh, any num negative number or uh, represent any negative number in two's complement. Um, here you can see these are the values ranges for 8-bit value uh, for two's complement uh, uh, in signed representation of these values and they are represented in two's complement. So if all these bits are 0, 0, 8 bits are 0, 0, then unsigned value is 0 and signed value is 0. So up to all these seven bits, magnitude values of these seven bits, if they are one, 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 and signed and unsigned, their value is same. But if this sign bit changes, for example, if it, it becomes one, then signed, unsigned value will be 128 in decimal, but signed value will be minus 128 and so on. And if all these bits are one, one, eight bits are one, 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 and so on. So what will happen here? the unsigned value will be 255 and the signed value will be minus 1. So now we will uh, perform addition, a uh, signed addition of the uh, binary numbers by using the two's complement arithmetic. Now here you can see uh, we have uh, uh, with two's complement arithmetic what we have to do all we do is to add our two binary numbers just discard any carries emitting from the higher order bit for example here we have 48 and minus 1 what uh, the previous example so the two's complement uh, for mm, minus 19 representation is here the same value we have shown at this point so if we perform this addition this is the value that we got and here we got the carry so we discard this carry and you got the result so when we use any finite numbers of bits uh, to represent a number, we always run the risk of uh, the result of our calculations becoming too large to be stored in the computer. So if we get this one, so it's called the overflow situation. Uh, while we can't always prevent overflow, but we can always detect overflow. But because uh, if we get carry and all this stuff, then we can get detect the overflow, but we cannot discard because some values can be uh, larger than the permitted uh, length of the bits or storage size uh, one byte storage size and so on so in complement arithmetic an overflow condition is easy to detect here you can see uh, using two's complement binary arithmetic 
uh, if we find the sum of 107 and 46 uh, if we see here uh, in this case uh, we have the uh, this there'll be uh, this is a sign bit so sign bit is going to change even though these two numbers are positive numbers but here we can see the value which we are getting is negative number so in two's complement uh, that that sh that is the va the value is minus 103 but that is wrong so we see that non zero carry from the seventh bit overflows into the sign bit from the seventh flow we have a carry here so this carry overflows from the magnitude to the sign bit so rule of rule for detecting two's complement overflow is when the carry in or carry out of the sign bit differ for example this one uh, if we need uh, carry in or carry out here if it differs then that that situation is the overflow situation now sign extension now this is the most important thing that we have to learn here sign extension uh, is that if we have 8 bit number for example if we have number like uh, 5 this is plus 5 number we can represent sign is positive so it will be 0 all these 4 will be 0 and 0 1 0 1 so this is the plus 5 and we have another number uh, this is 8 bit representation and if we have 16 bit another number is uh, plus 7 but this number is stored somewhere in 16 bit register or 16 bit location so 16th uh, least most significant uh, position is positive and 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 these are 0 0 again 0 0 0 four zeros then fifth zero and one one and one so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now if this is a situation and we want to add these two numbers then how we can add these two numbers because one number is in eight bit location and another number is in 16 bit uh, location and this situation arises when we perform some uh, addition or subtraction or some operations inside the microprocessors so at that time we need sign extension now why we need sign extension we discuss and um, but how we can ex sign extend any value first move the number into lower uh, lower significant bits like uh, like the lower significant this is the 8 bit you can see all these are the is 8 bit and we want to convert it into the 16 bits so the lower bits uh, these are the uh, six, 8 bits lower 8 bits and these are the higher 8 bits you can call it so what we do this number will be moved here and for example the number is minus 77 minus 77 is represented here is sign is minus zero one one zero zero and one one this is the magnitude and so on so what we have to do we have to uh, copy this one or sign bit into higher or higher order bits or higher uh, higher order byte so fill the remaining higher bits with the sign bit this will ensure that both magnitude and the sign are correct example so correct uh, what we will do we will just extend the sign in the higher bits like higher eight bits or higher 32 bits or higher 16 bits whatsoever the remaining uh, size is so this is the way you can if we will convert this one completely from 8 to 16 bit the value will again be minus 77 it will not change at all so for example if we have plus 98 uh, in 8 bits so this is plus 98 in 8 bits and sign bit is zero definitely because it's positive number so what we have to do we have to extend this sign bit zero zero into the uh, higher order byte like this is a higher order byte uh, higher order eight bits and the actual number will be in the lower order eight bits so in this way we can extend the sign so infinite zero can be added to the left of a positive number and infinite ones can be added to the left of a negative number so we can add number of as uh, we can extend the sign number into the higher order byte or higher higher order bits so in this way we can convert 
uh, any number from uh, 8 bit to 12, uh, 16 bit or 32 bits or 64 bits so that two numbers on which we want to perform any operation we can um, make their uh, sizes equal and then we perform operation so this sign extension it is required when manipulating sign values of variable lengths for example converting 8 bit signed to complement to 16 bit or if we are adding 16 bit value to 32 bits uh, we are performing any uh, operation between 16 bit uh, value and 32 bit values and so on so we have to make them compatible uh, of the same size so here we can see uh, the two's complement of hexadecimal number uh, this is also uh, the sim performed in a similar manner so to form a two's complement of hexadecimal number what we do we subtract each hexadecimal digit from 15 and we add one so subtracting each hexadecimal from 15 uh, is like we are going to complement it and we will add one so example is two's complement of 6a3d is equal to 3c59 uh, and then uh, two's complement of 92f0 is like uh, 01d6 uh, because uh, if you can see here uh, 15 minus if we convert this number so here is d d is equivalent to uh, 13 so if we convert uh, uh, subtract uh, 13 from 15 we get 2 so it will be like 2 and then if we can uh, subtract uh, 3 from 15 we get C and then if we subtract A from 15 we get 5 because A is equal to 10 and then if we subtract 6 then we will get 9 so if we add 1 so it will be 3 C 9 5 C 3 and so on so similar way this is the two's complement uh, representation of hexadecimal number so there is no need to convert uh, it into the binary otherwise we can convert this number into binary for example uh, four digits um, is 0 1 1 0 and then a is equal to 10 so 8 1 0 uh, uh, 1 0 3 is equal to 0 0 1 1 so for D uh, if we convert D into the binary so we can have 8 4 12 and then we have 13 so either we can convert into the uh, uh, binary and then we can perform this the two's complement so it will be a lengthy process so this is the short form or shorthand to convert hexadecimal number into two's complement so uh, two's complement of hexadecimal we have seen this uh, previous example uh, in this um, slide we will see uh, how to perform binary subtraction so when we subtract value B from A so this value uh, A minus B how we can perform the another way is A plus minus b this is the same same representation so what we have to do we have to convert this b value into negative or into two's complement and perform addition so we don't need to we don't need to uh, have separate circuit or additional circuit or extra circuit for the subtraction we can use the same uh, circuit for addition to perform subtraction also so here you can see we have one number this number is 12 for example this number is 2 so uh, in this one uh, in this one you can see uh, we did not perform any sign uh, two's complement for this two we just perform subtraction so subtracting zero from the zero again is zero uh, we borrow we cannot subtract one from the zero so we take this uh, borrow this one here and this value will be one zero so one zero is equal to two subtract one from this two again we have got one here it was one but when we borrowed it became zero subtracting zero from zero is zero and so on we have got the result and this value is 10 so here this is the uh, format we converted uh, this number into two's complement so two is converted into minus two 
and this is the tools complement representation so here we can see uh, if we perform addition if we perform addition 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 0 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 so we put 0 here and 1 is a carry and all these trees when we add uh, they will be equal to the uh, 1 1 so we put 1 here and 1 is here again this will be 0 0 0 because we add 1 with 1 it will be 0 1 0 so 0 is here and 1 is carry and so on at the end we have also uh, 1 is a carry so what we have to do we have to ignore this carry so again if you see the result this result and these two results they are same so the carry is ignored because negative number is sign extended with ones uh, you can imagine infinite number of ones as we saw in the previous slide to the left of a negative number and adding the carry to the extended ones produces extended zeros so for practice you can perform like uh, the subtraction uh, of these two positive numbers like 0 0 1 0 0 uh, 1 0 1 from 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 so you can perform this practice just what we have to do you have to convert this number into the uh, twos complement and just add after uh, performing twos complement of this number what you have to do you have to perform addition then you will see the result so in the hexadecimal subtraction uh, what we have to do is uh, we perform uh, the same hexadecimal uh, uh, addition in the similar manner for starting from the rightmost digits so when we borrow uh, uh, when we need a borrow uh, from the left digit uh, and add, we add 16 decimal uh, to the current digits value for example here you can see the value is C675 C675 this is without complement uh, to without tools complement um, as we discussed in the previous slide you can perform uh, convert into binaries and then perform something like uh, tools complement or by subtracting these values these values uh, from the uh, 15 and representing them here and add one so to perform uh, this hexadecimal addition uh, for example we uh, subtract uh, 7 from this 5 we borrow minus 1 from uh, we borrow my 1 from here so it will when we borrow 1 it is 16 so 16 plus 5 is equal to 21 so 21 minus 7 uh, it will be uh, 14 so 14 is represented as e uh, here it was 7 now it is 4 uh, 6 uh, subtracting 4 from this 6 we have got 2 and 6 subtracting 2 from this 6 we got 4 and C A is subtracted from C so we have the result so the same thing same subtraction which we perform here can be performed in twos complement so what we have to do we have to perform twos complement of this number as we saw in previous slide that to perform twos complement we have to subtract uh, from 15 so if we subtract um, from 15 then we got 8 uh, for the 7 and then we have 4 if we subtract 4 uh, from 15 then we have subtract 2 then we have subtract a from 15 if we subtract 4 then we have got 11 so um, 11 is represented as uh, b uh, subtract 2 from 15 we've got 13 is d subtract a from 15 means 10 from 15 we've got 5 and then we add 1 so if we add 1 it will be 9 b d so 5 d b and 9 so after performing two's complement we add these two numbers so 9 5 is 14 so e 7 b uh, b is equal to, uh, 11 and 7 so it will be a 1 2 in um, uh, hexadecimal the 2 is here 1 is carry d is equal 13 plus 6 uh, is uh, plus 1 so 13 plus 7 is 20, uh, 20 and 20 in decimal but uh, we convert it it will be 1 4 in hexadecimal and we just put 4 here and 1 there and will be C5 so uh, C5 will be uh, C is equal to uh, 12 and 5 is equal to um, 
uh, 5 plus 5 is equal to 17. So 17 we have uh, 1, 2 and 17 in decimal and hexadecimal it will be 1, 2. So 2 will be here and 1 is carry. So we ignore this lot lost carry and if you compare these two results you can see the values are same. So there are two ways you can perform uh, these uh, subtractions in either binary or in hexadecimal. By using the twos complement, what we have to do, one value A and the value B, these two values are either positive or negative whatsoever. We perform, we convert this, uh, this one. If it is positive value, we convert it uh, into negative and we perform addition. So this is the easiest way you can perform addition. So the uh, for practice, what we have to do, for example, if we have variable, its location is like 0, 0. This is hexadecimal location. So we can write it here, 0x, 00400b20. The address of the next variable uh, after variable 1 is equal to uh, 0x, 0040a060. So how many bytes are used because this this is the first address then we have next address so how many bytes are in between these two addresses so how many bytes a variable one has so these are the ranges of the signed integers like signed byte ranges from minus 128 to plus 127 uh, or signed word has range uh, from minus 2 raised power 15 to 2 raised power 15 minus 1 and for double sign double word and sign quad word they have their ranges like minus 2 power uh, 31 to minus 2 uh, to 2 power 31 minus 1 and for the sign quad word it has range from minus 2 power 63 to 2 power 63 minus 1 so you can find the ranges for like for practice the range for the 20 bit uh, signed uh, word or uh, 20 bit signed uh, value so carry and overflow carry is important when we perform addition or subtraction unsigned integers and in it indicates uh, that this unsigned sum is out of range either less than zero or greater than maximum unsigned n bit value overflow is important when adding or subtracting signed integers indicates signed sum is out of range overflow occurs when we add two positive numbers and the sum is negative and we add two negative numbers and sum is positive and it can happen because of the fixed number of sum bits we have the fixed size so these are the examples you can see where carry and overflow occur so if we perform addition of these two numbers for example there are these are the four possible cases if we perform addition of 15 uh, and 8 we have 23 so there is no overflow there is no carry in this case if we have uh, 15 and 2 4 5 or minus 8 so the value is 7 so carry is 1 overflow is 0 uh, but we ignore this carry uh, because if we perform addition of this uh, sign value with the uns uh, sign value like minus 8 uh, and this 15 and uh, this in this case carry is 0 but overflow is 1 and the last case you can see the carry is 1 and the overflow is 0 so now we are going to summarize that uh, in this lecture we uh, discussed the fundamentals of number system um, and the numerical data representation and manipulation in digital computers and binary representation of numbers decimal and hexadecimal representation of numbers addition and subtraction of binary and hexadecimal numbers and we saw also uh, how to add these numbers uh, in binary and hexadecimal uh, how we can perform twos complement ones complement and the sign magnitude uh, so this is all for this lecture and hope to see you uh, in the next lecture till next lecture Allah Hafiz